Well, first of all, it's uh, it's really nice to see you uh, back down at the at the right and training ground, the place where you spent so many years uh, as a, as, a, as a manager yeah, at the football club. I suppose really, in some way, I was responsible for building this. And uh, first time I've been back since I got the sack, to be honest. Nobody's ever invited me back before, but uh, John Clark has said, "Come on down, meet the new manager," and it's been very enjoyable. How have you found Matt Robbins? I suppose it's a little bit different, isn't it? Chat chatting with someone in the same position as you were in 25 years ago. No, I didn't. I found him so easy to talk to, and so close on opinions on how to play and how you want to play and how you want things to happen within your club. You know, and he, he was very honest, very open, and very knowledgeable. I was very impressed. Sharing some nice stories because at the time when you were when you were manager, Mark was just starting to come into the game as a professional player as well. Yeah, with Man United. Yeah, I suppose he served under possibly the greatest manager we'll ever see in football, Sir Alex. You know, he's a phenomenon, you know, and therefore to have had that experience must be wonderful for him because uh, to learn from the best is always good. So whatever we talked about, I don't know whether he learned anything of me or not, but at least he showed an interest in what we were talking about, which is playing football the right way, which is on the grass and players moving off the ball. So we were very close in our, in our way of playing. In terms of the conversation, we won't ask you for the, uh, for the exact conversational tones, but there's some, some of the threads of what you spoke about. You spoke about the way you'd like to play football and, and, and some of the things as well. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be, you know, we, we are not a long ball club. We've tried it twice and it's failed. So therefore, I think if you look at football, the way the fan wants to see it is attacking, yeah, whenever possible, defending strongly, especially in the last quarter. You know, when you're one new up, you've got different rules to the game and different ways of playing the game and attacking the game when you're one new up with five minutes to go, which we have been poor at, in my opinion, uh, of late. And therefore, um, we talked about that and how would you do it and how would he do it, you know, and we got on brilliantly. And I suppose you spoke about the uh, the recent run of form as well. A uh, few games unbeaten, uh, getting some points on the board and a, and a, uh, a regional quarter-final draw in the uh, in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So you've got some good positive talking points. Yeah, you know, he could be back at Wembley, which would be wonderful for the supporters, for the club, you know. Hopefully, hopefully results go right for him and the draw comes right for him because that's all important. Yeah, we talk about that. We talked about league performances and, and the improvement. And the results make a lot of difference to places like this, the training ground. The players come in in the morning and want to start training instead of their heads down and hiding in the corners, you know. And you, you, you've got so many things now that are different to my day, such as you can people like yourself going out filming and seeing training and what have you. We never had that in my day. But we always had a video of the match. And whatever the result, we were talking about this, myself, that uh, I never used to say a word after a match. Too late, the result's gone. I was working for the next match. And I, I never, ever gave a rollicking after a match. But I'd get it Monday morning when they'd come and watch the video. We had the video, and that was my time. I'd sit there and say, you said you didn't do that. You said you didn't do this. Here it is. In terms of your visit down here as well, I mean, you, you, you've been to Wembley. You know the effect that it can have on players. There's a possibility, a road to Wembley in terms of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. What kind of effect does that have on teams, that, 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 that momentum in a cup run towards league form? Well, we got very close twice before, didn't we? We got to the semi-final when uh, Notts Forest beat us on a dubious penalty given against Cyril Regis, bless him. And uh, also, we got there again in the, I think it was called the Simul Cup, wasn't it? Something like that, where we got beat on penalties in the semi-final ready. I couldn't believe it. Half the players didn't want to take penalties. So we've done all the rehearsals in training. You're a penalty taker, you're a penalty taker. When it came to the final moment, we can get back at Wembley again. That was after the cup final. And uh, they didn't want to take them on or two. So uh, that was disappointing. But what it does to the club is unbelievable. And what it does for the supporter. You know, the supporter is on a coach going down to Wembley or a train or a car. It's wonderful getting those tickets and getting that experience of saying we're back at Wembley. Right, let's enjoy it. You know, and that's what we need. We need all picking up. All of us need picking up, especially as a supporter.